Welcome to my KTM video playlist. Today we are going to see example on multiple plate clutch that is by uniform weird theory. So let's see first of all the description of the given problem. A multiple disc clutch has five plates. So from this name you can imagine this type of the figure has five plates. So here you can see five plates having four pairs of active friction surfaces. If the intensity of the pressure is not to exceed 0.127 Newton per mm square, find the power transmitted at 500 rpm. The outer and inner ready of friction surfaces are 125 mm and 75 mm respectively. Assume uniform wear theory. So here it is written assume uniform wear theory. Because of here you can see the pressure is not to exceed. That means the maximum intensity of the pressure is given to you. So when there is a maximum intensity of the pressure, definitely you should assume uniform wear theory. So first of all, write down the given data in the symbolic notation. First here it is written as total five plates having four pairs of active friction surfaces. So you can say n is equal to 4 because of here it is written 4 pairs of active friction surfaces. Next, if the intensity of the pressure is not to exceed that means the maximum pressure is 0.127 then power transmitted at 500 rpm that means it is n. Power is the question mark. Outer and inner radius is given to you that means Outer radius is R1 and inner radius is R2. Next, assume uniform wear theory and coefficient of friction. That means mu is equal to 0.3. Already we have discussed that here the maximum intensity of the pressure is given to you. So obviously you should assume uniform wear theory. And for the uniform wear theory, pressure maximum is at radius R2 always. And so that you can say P into R2 is equal to constant. So keep in mind, if it is uniform wear theory, then P into R2 is equal to constant. This is the formula. And now put the value over here. Pressure is equal to 0.127. R2 is equal to 75 mm. So simplify it so that you will get C. Now you know that power transmitted by a clutch is equal to T into omega. Another formula also you have P is equal to 2 pi nt upon 60. So definitely you can apply any one. Now again we don't have the value of T. But you can find the T by using this equation. And for the omega this is the very simple equation. Omega is equal to 2 pi n upon 60. Where omega is the angular velocity you have the n so that you can find the omega by using this equation. Here this w and rm both are the unknown parameter. So you can apply this equation for the w and this equation for the rm. But keep in mind again both these equations are only for the uniform wear theory. So this is a very simple planning for this given problem. First you have to find these all parameters so that you can find the T and so that you can find at last power. So that is very simple plan for this problem. So now find one by one all these parameters. So this is the simple equation for the torque. Now this is the additional information. You have the two formula for the Rm. This equation that is specially for the uniform pressure theory and this equation is for the uniform wear theory. In this problem, we are going to apply the uniform wear theory. That's why Rm is equal to this one. That also you can see over here. So now we know that the axial thrust W is equal to 2 pi C in bracket R1 minus R2. Now put the value. So we have the value of C and R1, R2. 
which are also given to you. Simplify it so that you will get W. You know that this is the axial thrust, so it must be in Newton. So we have now W. Now you can apply this equation to the mean radius of the friction surface for the uniform wear theory that is R1 plus R2 by 2. Now put this value over here and simplify it so that you can find the Rm mean radius. Again you know that this is radius so it must be in mm. So now you have the Rm. Now you can find the omega that means angular velocity. Put the value of n as 500 rpm. Simplify it so that you will get the omega that is the angular velocity in radian per second. So now you have the W and Rm so that you can find the torque. So now I can apply the torque transmitted that is equal to N into mu into W into Rm. Now put the value N is equal to 4, mu is equal to 0 0.3, W that is equal to 2990 and Rm that means mean radius that is 100 m. Simplify it so that you will get the torque in Newton into mm because of here the radius that is in mm. Now once you have the torque then definitely you can find the power by using this equation. But very important thing for this equation torque must be in Newton into meter. So convert it in Newton into meter by simply dividing 1000. So now I can apply this equation power transmitted that is T into omega. Put the value T is equal to this one and omega is equal to 52.36. Simplify it so that you will get power and that is your answer find the power transmitted by using uniform wear theory. So make a box. If you have any doubt, then write in the comment box. I will be back. Thanks my dear friends for watching this video. Press the like button to appreciate it.